Hello, Sim here. So this is a rather unusual video because it's, um, it's a response to a request by you guys who put it out originally on Twitter and I added it to my community tab and I'll come back to that in a second. So in this particular case, you know, the host is a host who has a 75 millisecond ping. It's not a dedicated server. This is peer to peer and it's Xbox. So the host is in the good old US of A and in New Hampshire, the best that I could determine from my poor geographical knowledge and zooming in and stuff. And it's, it's good enough for me. So for me, typically, I expect to see around 150 millisecond ping. But as you can see, those hit markers look pretty sweet to me. So it suggests whoever the US host was, because this is peer to peer, because obviously the dedicated servers were down. Um, it's got pretty good Internet, a solid, strong Internet connection. And this is represented for the gameplay. But the request was, well, Sim, what is it like with having a geo filter that's like slightly wider out so you get larger pings and stuff? You know, it's not around the, you know, the next door neighbor from, you know, living around your corner sort of thing that you're gaming against. What about if you're gaming against somebody who's like, I don't know, let's make it up in Spain, for example. What's it like? OK, so we're not gaming against Spain because I, I tried to. Uh, do the geo filter so it was against somebody in the US but uh, it just couldn't find a game that could be down to a variety of reasons and potentially because of the matchmaking services and peer-to-peer -peer server or gaming system that's in effect currently uh, or certainly was at the time recording this gameplay over the weekend um, was inhibiting that uh, but anyway so I had the geo filter off and I just happened to be lucky enough for the purposes of this video to have a lobby that contained Europeans and US players. And that is a typical sort of matchmaking thing that does happen when you don't have a net doomer to hand to keep all your players local. In this particular case, the player was in the US, in uh, New Hampshire, and had a 75 millisecond ping. And you can see that hit markers for peer to peer look pretty solid. So here I had the geo filter completely turned off and just happened to be fortuitous, as I said, for the purposes of this video to have a, a significantly high enough ping, basically a ping that's 10 times higher than my usual ping to a server that I get. I normally get around the seven and a half millisecond ping. Yeah. Um, so this demonstrates that uh, for a 75 millisecond ping. And uh, so you can then for judge for yourselves um, what what it's like. So having congestion control, well, so having a router that gives you control over your bandwidth uh, to, you know, slightly smooth off that download and upload speed so that you have a more stable ping and therefore you don't have it jumping all over the place, causing a unstable connection. Because remember, when we come to Call of Duty World War Two, it's 60 hertz updates, not only for dedicated servers, but according to um, uh, Battle Nonsense, also peer to peer because he tested it on the PC. So, um, yeah, so that's a 60 hertz update. So, you know, ping is king, as I've said on a few comments and tweets to various viewers and subs. Um, so it really is. Um, and so because you, you know, the lower your ping is, the faster you can send your updates and receive updates from the server of players positions and stuff and have a more accurate representation of where everything is in the world and make sure your bullets actually connect, you know. But if the server, a true dedicated server is overloaded or the peer to peer host has a, <laughs> as some people will refer to it as a KFC or McDonald's Wi-Fi connection. <laughs> In other words, a really poor, um, uh, you know, unstable, high ping, jittering all over the place. But on a serious note, if, you know, they don't have a, a router that helps them keep their um, uh, bandwidth usage under control. So let's, for example, you can use a TP link because you can pick those up for around 30 quid uh, just to have a, a better a bandwidth management to stop. Uh, those who are viewing Netflix or Amazon Prime or any other streaming services. Uh, that you'd care to mention uh, or watching YouTube for example so you keep your ping consistent while you're gaming and they're using the internet to watch videos and music videos and all that jazz um, so yeah so here I have um, so I know I get asked this a lot so I'm on BT Infinity I'm using preemptive 80% 
I'm not using device prioritization because I find that that induces lag and unreliable connections. Uh, it's very stuttery, it's the best way of putting it. Uh, and I don't use hyper traffic because I'm multi-console and I find that that mucks up the padlock server geo filtering mechanism. And that was a nice little sort of like um, spot here. This is head glitching. I think this is the first time I sort of stumbled across it in this little puddle and went, oh, I can see down there and I'm head glitching. Oh, don't tell anybody else, please. Don't tell them. <laughs> I'm sure the head glitchers already know. Um, but yeah, so I rambled on a bit, but the request was um, from the community, you guys, that you wanted to see something like this. I'm guessing it's justifying how much does a congestion control, how much does how much effect does a router with congestion control, whether it be a NetDoomer or a TP-Link, have on, on the gameplay? And this should, I hope, answer that question. Uh, you've got to be tactical. You've got to move around the map in a good way. If you move around badly, um, then um, you're going to die still. So, you know, it's like owning a gaming set or, or a super duper uh, gaming controller. You can see there I was orange barring because I'm in the UK playing against a US host. So that's why I'm orange barring, but still relevant. So obviously orange barring means somewhere around the 75 millisecond mark. And uh, yay, I'm in the final kill cam. <laughs> but I came away with a 2KD. Um, so if you want stuff, um, there's a community tab for like video requests. Yes, I'm going to be doing a net do my recap guide, but I'm hoping to stream something else tonight. Um, you know in quick succession after i've had some food so if you found this informative or useful give it a thumbs up and until next time this has been sim <laughs>